Hey guys, how you doing? So here we are. One of the Orient Beach. I think this is the topless side. I saw some chick walk by. Obviously topless. Older, older lady. The Europeans are pretty liberal on their behaviors. But you can see seaweed has invaded the island. It's a very beautiful beach regardless of the nudity, who really cares? If you see some old videos of this beach from a drone before all this stuff, it's a very big, beautiful beach. This this is, happens every time, I guess. Every year this stuff comes in. There actually, you can see over there, they're picking it up. But I guess on the other side, on, over there the rocks separate. There's a, a separation. You go, from, you can be totally nude. So we were here last time before the hurricane Irma. It's just, it is absolutely gorgeous. The water's nice. You can do some, you can do some snorkeling out there. Go out there, and it's just. Got a classic Caribbean feel to it. Water is nice and refreshing. You can tell some if you can see way up there the blue houses, there's a more of a wealthy area. A lot of investment properties here I see. A couple houses over here, they're redoing them finally. In Orient Beach. So what if it's a nude beach? Not a big deal. A lot of Europeans that let it hang low. We can we can charge the the, the um, it's twenty bucks for two chairs in a in a um what do you want to call it two chairs in a I don't know what do you want to call those things cover can't find it right on my head but um you can charge everything. To your to the bar, so if you want to eat and have lunch and have the chairs and whatever else, uh, the umbrella, you can. So it's really kind of cool. So really nice. They actually call the guy that helps you a bitch boy. So I said, "Why well, bitch bar radio?" He looked at me. I go, "Yeah." So it's kind of funny. Just, 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 whatever his name was, and he goes, "His name is is, is bitch boy." And I'm like, "Oh my god." So, You've got some rhinos, they call them rhinos over here. We rent those. We might go to uh, Penal, Penal Island, I guess, tomorrow, maybe, I don't know. Take a boat over there, I have no idea. But tomorrow's the full, whenever you see the video, tomorrow and Thursday is the last full day. Today we get our COVID-19 test so we can leave. Go back to the rioting in Minnesota, burning down Brooklyn Center, I guess, huh? So. See that stuff just over there at uh, lovely and talented DV. They're uh, having guys dig holes and burying it. You got to pick out the machine. Rake it up, pick it up, get it off quicker. But the French side, they haven't done much to the island. Still, uh, there's some, I think it'd be fun properties to buy, invest in them and make your own little uh, condo and your own little house out of some buildings. Inexpensive. Yeah. There's all there's there's a there's a couple resorts over here I guess. There is some um I guess some snorkeling way out there I guess. I brought the GoPro 5 just in case but I like it, huh? 
I mean, it goes. Well, we're way back there, so if you keep going on the other side down there, that's where it's total nudity. I don't think I'm gonna go videotape. I make a walk down there, but I don't want to videotape. My luck, I'll get someone showing some bare ass by accident, so. So. No big deals. It's gonna be a, well with tip, a $60 round trip taxi drive back and forth, so. We'll pay her when she comes back. We'll give her 60 bucks. So, she drove like a maniac. Kind of cool to drive, see some of the nice houses and some of the rundown houses and a lot of junk cars and a lot of investments you can do. Like I said, start recycling all the old cars, all the garbage, mix it in with cement into a slurry and start building more houses and repairing stuff. And repeat that over and over again. A lot of investment properties, but people don't want to do it. They'd rather buy more houses. I'd rather be known for investing in the uh, Island, making more place people to come enjoy. A little windy today, but nice. So, but uh, you can tell. And it comes. All the seaweed and sand. And the water is just gorgeous, man. Like a cold grain belt premium beer or a Carib beer. Mm, yummy. Yep, got it like that, huh? Orient Beach. A lot of room out here to hang out at. Yeah, I'll, she wanted to order a uh, drink sex on the beach. That thing is nasty, so. Yeah, it's, it's well worth the uh, 60 bucks taxi drive and get the two chairs and the umbrella. Charge it to your room, to your the bar. Have food. We did buy two pizzas at a grocery store. I had one there a night. Nice little, nice for. We had that for like a little lunch. So, yeah, care to be in life. It's a nice beach. Not just because it's a nude beach. It's not a big deal. Grown ass people come here, so. A lot of the, the young ladies there are probably between 20 and 40, no better. It's usually mainly Europeans that are more liberal on their body, I guess, so. Yeah, they're picking up this, they're picking up all the, uh, all the seaweed, the guy out down there. But I've saw some videos before the um, Hurricane Irma, which is gorgeous. And I saw after. Just beat the crap out of this place. And tore up a lot of the old buildings, so. There's no time we got left here. All right, we got about a minute left. I, I try to go to 10 minutes. You know, I'm anything over 11 minutes, it's a little too long, so. But I hope you enjoyed Orient Beach here. I said this is the topless side I'm on. The other side, all horse bar, all, no matter what, but not a big deal. There was a beach in Minnesota called Butt, Butt Ass Beach over by Cedar Lake. You could go there. It was a cool beach, but people started having too many parties of drugs and alcohol and got shut down. <coughs> it's kind of a private nude beach called I go by my dad's old Sea Lake yard, so. Yeah, we'll go back to the ride in Brooklyn Center. It's gonna get worse. So anyways, I know the, anyways, but you guys, 
Hope you enjoy it. See you guys all later. My fake uh, sunglasses, so. All right. There you go. How do you like that, huh? <laughs>